Today, I'm going to show you how to use the powerful task management app, Todoist. If you're a student, a professional, or just want to be organized and productive, Todoist could be a great fit for you. We're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how it works. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to use it on your laptop, but you can follow the same steps and download the app on your phone as well. So the first thing we have to do is download Todoist and create an account. Just go to your browser and search Todoist Download. After that, click on the first link that says Download. Then scroll down here, based on your device, just select the option and then click on Download. Once it's downloaded and you've installed it, you'll reach this page over here and you have two options to log in. Either you already have an account, or you'll have to create one. So I'll just click on Sign Up. It'll take you to the browser and you'll just have to enter your details over here. Again, here you can continue with Google, Facebook, or Apple. Or otherwise, just enter your email address and password. So I'll continue with Google and then just select my email address. So now we've logged in, and to open Todoist, just click on this option. And now as you can see, the app has opened, and on the top right, you can see the account with which you've logged in. One thing really cool about Todoist is that every change you make gets synced to your account. If I download it on my phone, I'll see the exact same changes there as well. So now that everything is set up, I'll first just give an overview of the dashboard. On the left, you have different pages. First is Inbox, then all the tasks for today. After that, you can see the upcoming tasks, which is like a calendar. Then, you can click on the plus button to add a task. And if you want to go through settings, just click on this icon, your profile picture. From here, you can reach settings or also change the theme if you want. The first thing I'll show you is how to create a project and add tasks to it. A project is basically a large topic where you can add tasks. I like having only a few projects at a time, but it just comes down to your own personal preference. To add a project, click on the plus button next to projects. Here you can name it. I will call this one work. After that, I can select a color. All tasks related to this project will be given this color. For now, we'll just keep the workspace personal. You can create teams and collaborate if you need to. Next, you can choose the view you want. One is like a list and the other is a board, and you can see the difference. I personally prefer the board, so I'll select that and then I'll just click on Add. So now, as you can see, this project is created. And within this project, I can create new sections and add tasks under each section. I'll add the first section now, let's say I call it Meetings. Then I can click on Add Section. I can repeat the same process to add more sections, so I'll quickly add a couple more. So following the same method, I've added three sections, and now under each section, you can add a task. But before I show you how to add a task, I'll quickly show you some options you can choose for projects and sections. For each section, if you click on the three dots, you can edit the section, move it, or archive it. If you want to share the project with others, you can do that as well. Just click on Share. That's written on the top right here. Then you can enter email addresses to invite other people. You can also change the view. Remember earlier, how we selected the board view? We can change that to a list view. So just click on View, and now, as you can see, we have different layout and sorting options. That is how projects work. Now let's move on to adding tasks. There are two ways to add a task. First, you can add it within a project or section. The second way is to just add it to your inbox. If your task isn't tied to a specific project, you can just add it to your inbox by clicking on this plus button over here. I'll show you both task methods. First, how to add one in a project. I'm currently in the project of work, and let's say under meetings, I want to add a task. I'll just click on the plus button over here. And now I can add details about the task. First up is giving it a name. So here I've called it meeting with team. And something that's really cool is by just adding the date or the day, it'll automatically add it to your calendar. So what I mean is if I say meeting with team in three days, as you can see, it's now highlighted and the due date has changed to Sunday. 
You can make other changes the same way. I can change this to meeting with team on September 10th. That's changed. Or if I want to say meeting with team on every weekday, as you can see, it's showing today and you'll see this task in your calendar every day. If you want to manually enter a date, you can just click on this option, set due date. And here you have multiple options. There's a calendar with some default options on top. You can select one of them from here. After that is priority. You can prioritize all of your tasks. If you click on this flag, there are options like P1, P2, P3, P4. So if this is top priority, I can just select priority one. And now when I save this task, it'll be given this red flag. There's another way to add a priority, and that's in the task name. Where we wrote every weekday, I can just add P1 over here, and the priority has changed to P1. So now every time you're creating a task, you can add the date and the priority in the heading and just click on save. And here, the task falls under meetings, the same way you add a task to a section. Now I'll quickly show you how to add tasks in general. It's very similar. Just click on the plus button on top, then add a name, due date, and priority. Here I've said, go to the gym this evening and added P2. For the due date, I put 7 p.m. and the priority has become P2. But now we need to decide where we want to save it. To do this, just click on this option right here. And now I can see all the different places I can save it. So as of now, I only have one project and I do want to save it here so I can put it in the inbox and then click on add task. Now the task is in my inbox. Inbox is the place you would add tasks as you think of them and move them to a project later. It's very easy to move a task from the inbox to a project. Just click the three dots over here and click on move to project over here. Then you can decide where you want to move it. So let's say in the project work, I want to move it to others. I can select that. And as you can see, it's disappeared from my inbox. But if I go to work, under others, go to the gym is now there. Now that you know how to add tasks, I'll show you some settings related to tasks. If you click on a task, you can add subtasks. So if I want to add, buy banana before gym, I can type that here and click on add task. And now it has become a subtask. If you click on the three dots next to the task, you have more options. First, you can edit it. Then you can change the due date. There are some default options like tomorrow or over the weekend. Next, you can duplicate it or copy the link. You have all these options over here. So now that we've added tasks, let's see how these look in other pages. If I go to today, over here, I can see all of the tasks just for today. And let's say I'm done with one. If I had my meeting with the team, I can just check it and it's completed. Then if I go to upcoming, this is my calendar and here I can see my tasks for the next week or month, depending on the view you select. Over here for tomorrow, it's again showing meeting with team. This is because we set this to every weekday. So here you can see the tasks for each week and you can change the week by clicking on next. That's in the top right over here. You can also link your tasks in Todoist to Google Calendar, but that's for another time. I hope this video was helpful. Click the link in the description to join our free community where you'll find tons of helpful tools and resources for your project management journey. Make sure to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials and other project management topics. Thanks for watching. See you next time.